everybody to another edition of ISBC Truth Channel. Right here on ISBC Truth with your host, Pastor Michael Smith and co-host Sister Smith Baby. Sister Smith Baby and the Easy for Jeezy. Wow, wow, wow. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button as you guys come in here. It's very important if you are new to this channel, if you just stumble across this channel, why not stay a while? Become a subscriber. Hit that subscribe button. Next to that subscribe button, hit that bell so you'll be notified when we drop this breaking news on you. And on the other hand, there is a like button. Hit the like button. You know what I'm saying? Make sure we lit. Because every day we lit. Every day we lit. We lit every day. Every day we lit. Make sure you guys hit that like button. All right, so let's go ahead. What do we have here, Susan Smith? Sony Rep claims Art Kelly's leak. Art Kelly leaked, uh, just a minute. Uh, I admit album is, oh my God. Oh yeah, that's right, Susan Smith. You know, yesterday, um, the internet went crazy. Because they thought R. Kelly dropped a track called I Admit. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know that other song that he made, I think before he went to jail, called I Confess? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he made that song. and, and But he wasn't confessing about nothing. He was just talking about how he was molested as a child. And that caused him to do this and caused that. that, that that's the... That's a lame excuse, you know what I'm saying? Because yeah. if you are molested as a child, you will not want what happened to you to happen to anybody else. Right. That will be logically right. But if you was molested as a child, it is illogical to go and molest others. No. You will protect your own. Because you know what it's like to be in that condition. You are a weak individual if you are molested as a child and you go and molest others. You are damn weak. Anyway, you know what I'm saying? But R. Kelly so called dropped a, a, a track called I Confess. R. Kelly, this is all R. Kelly's doing. And the hype behind this is what's pushing this to your own know saying to create such a buzz. Uh -huh. I confess. You don't need to confess, R. Kelly, because you've been convicted. <laughs> yeah. Sisters, man, do he need to confess? No. The, the, the court done already made up that decision for you. Right. <laughs> you, you, there's nothing for you to confess about. And you know, R. Kelly was on the jailhouse phone trying to uh, uh, say that that's not him. He was hacked and somebody took his, you know what I'm saying, stuff and making money off of him. R. Kelly have everything to do with what is going on right now. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and, and the phone call was part of the program. That just put more publicity and hype behind the R. Kelly saga. I won't be too surprised if R. Kelly is dropping something, you know what I'm saying, shortly. I won't be too surprised if R. Kelly drop a jailhouse track shortly. Maybe a jailhouse Christmas track before Christmas. Anyway, go ahead. Sony Rep claims Art Kelly's leak, I Admit album, is a bootleg. Uh, Art Kelly's album, I Admit, it dropped on digital streaming platform on now, Friday. Now, now check this out. Now, here's the, here's the trickery in words. The Sony Rep saying Art Kelly's track, I Admit, is a bootleg. A bootleg of what? Because in order for you to have a bootleg, there got to be an original somewhere around, ain't it? Uh -huh. <laughs> right? In order to, the same way, if you go back in the day, we had, you know what I'm saying, DVDs and, you know what I'm saying, we, we went to the local the avenues and little Negroes be selling bootleg DVDs of different uh, movies and stuff like that. 
So in order for them to sell a bootleg DVD of a movie, it got to be the original somewhere around. So being that this is a bootleg, where is the original album of I Admit? Because you cannot say it's his other song, I Confess. You cannot say it's another song, I Confess, because that's a totally different album from I Admit. You cannot say it because it's two different titles. A bootleg means it's the same damn thing. If he made a song called I Confess, then somebody else make a song called I Confess, not I Admit. That's a different song. So like I said, I won't be too surprised if they drop uh, an original I Admit track sometime this month. Go ahead. Um, it dropped on digital streaming platform on Friday, but a rep for the singer's record, record label says it's boot, a bootleg. Sony Music, which owns the right to much of the singer's catalog, told Variety that the album is an unofficial release. What I tell you? Yeah. Unofficial release. This is just a warm up. <laughs> this is just a warm up. And Sony is getting paid off of it. This is just a warm up. If you like the unofficial release, surely you would like the official release. In order to have a bootleg, you got to have an original somewhere floating around. Go ahead. This content has been removed from the platform at the request of the distributor. A rep for the company told Variety the Disgraced Stars attorney, Jennifer. So it has Andrew. been removed from the platform by the request of the distributor. Who is the distributor? The distributor is whatever platform it was dropped on. Whether it's Spotify, Apple, Apple or Spotify must have removed it. Because that's the distributor. Mm -hmm. Or the distribution, because the owner is Sony. Sony drops it on the uh, streaming sites, which distributes the music to the public. So, of course it's going to be removed. You know what I'm saying? Now, you see all seen and heard the song, I admit, you all warmed up, you all warmed up. So now you are in, in anticipating the original copy. You know what I'm saying? Get you warmed up. This is how, this is how the white people do it, people. They get you warmed up. Get you, you know what I'm saying? Oh, I can't wait to hear it. I want to hear what, what, you know what I'm saying? And then R. Kelly is making a phone call, letting you know it is not him. How you say it's not you when Sony owns the right to your shit, R. Kelly? How you saying it's not you? Sony owns the right to your catalog, R. Kelly. You're just saying it's not you because you're not getting paid from it. But yet Sony owns the right to your catalog. So Sony has the right to put out music with your voice on it or without your voice on it. It's the same way with me. Sister Smith is my reader and my wife. And she's a beautiful one at that. Ain't you, Sister Smith? Yes. Oh, boy. Yeah. Hey, listen. You thought, you know what I'm saying, Amber Rose has an ass. <laughs> you ain't seen one unless you've seen Sister Smith. <laughs> bada boom, bada boom. <laughs> yeah. oh. But um, that's neither here nor there. But like I said, you know what I'm saying, Sister Smith is my reader. And also my wife. So therefore, if she, if well, I can drop this video as many times as I can with her voice on it. Why? Because the content belongs to ISBC Truth. The same way uh, R. Kelly's song and R. Kelly's catalog belongs to Sony. Regardless of if it's R. Kelly's voice. 
Sony owns the right to his voice. You see that? So R. Kelly got no say so in nothing. Just because you ain't getting paid from it, R. Kelly. <laughs> That's why R. Kelly upset. Because he ain't receiving a dime. Go ahead. Okay. Attorney Jennifer Bonjean told the outlet that the singer is is having intellectual prop property stolen from him. She claimed he is not behind the leak. Kelly is serving a 30-year prison sentence at, after being found guilty of multiple sexual conduct-related charges in New York uh, last year. He will have to face at least one other trial. Sony Music discovered its working relationship with Art Kelly back in 2019 at the peak of his legal troubles. Art Kelly has claimed he has been broke for years. Uh, um, Art Kelly it. never been broke. You know what I'm saying? Art uh, Kelly just got broke when they pulled all his music from the streaming sites. They pulled his music, and then when he had no more income coming in, but he had a whole lot of income coming out from his legal fees, that's when R. Kelly became broke. But before then, R. Kelly's music was still streaming. And as long as R. Kelly's music was still streaming, what does that mean? He still gets a royalty check. You see? But when they pull his music, if they pull your music, your music no longer streams and you no longer get revenue. So when your revenue stops and you are pushing out money due to legal fees, guess what? All your money is going towards legal fees. Yes, you be broke. So that's when you broke. You was broke when you when they told you you was broke. The same way, um, what's her name, um, uh, Wendy Williams became broke when Wells Fargo took her money. <laughs> right, Sister Smith? Right. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, how you doing, Sister Smith? I'm doing good. Who's your man? You are. Oh, ooh. Hmm, yeah, that, she said that with pride. <laughs> I only I only have one, and hey, that's you. Hey man, you hear that? She said that with pride. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? She said that with, with with stamina. You know what I'm saying? She said that with confidence. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> How many women out there can say their man is their man with confidence like Sister Smith can, <laughs> without doubting? You said that without doubt. It ain't that right, Sister Smith. That's right. You see, you see that? You see that? That's my boo right there. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead. Oh, that's it, man. Oh, okay. There you have it. You know what I'm saying? So the R. Kelly, I um I admit, is a product of Sony. You know what I'm saying? And Sony is getting the check. Sony is gonna get the bag. Sony is going to get the bag. Go, Sony is going to get the bag. And R. Kelly is going to be in the buck. Getting, you know what? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> R. Kelly got 30 years to think about everything that he have done. No need to confess now, R. Kelly. You know what I'm saying? We don't want to know. We don't want to know. We don't want to know. We don't want to know about R. Kelly and his BS crap. We don't want to know. <laughs> we just want to know how much Sony got paid off of the leak. You know what I'm saying? Because his album, did that album did stream. And how many streams did it stream before it got pulled? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's the key thing here. However many saw times it got streamed before it got pulled, all that money goes to Sony. <laughs> All right, there you have it, people. I want to thank you for tuning in and logging on to another edition of ISBC Truth Channel right here on ISBC Truth with your host, Pastor Michael Smith, and co-host, 
Sister Smith Baby. Sister Smith Baby. And if you are new to this channel, if you just stumbled across this channel, if this is your first time here, stay a while. All you have to do is simply hit that subscribe button, become a subscriber. Next to that subscribe button, hit that bell. Turn on your notifications so you'll be notified when we drop this breaking news on you. And on the other hand, there is a like button, a lit button. Every day we lit. So keep us lit over here all day long, every day. Keep us lit by hitting that like button, lit button. Till next time, on to the next one.